Hello, fellow HubSpotters. This is Shannon Brandyberry with Kiwi Creative. And today we'll talk about logging your emails to contact, company, and deal records in HubSpot. This process is available to anyone with a HubSpot portal, marketing, sales, any of them, and all levels, starter, professional, or enterprise. This is something we cover a lot when we work with sales teams and teach them how to use Sales Hub, but it does apply to anyone sending emails to a person in your database. While individual conversations about your product or service are the most commonly logged emails, marketing teams, leadership, and others will find this process valuable as you continue to wow your existing customers and turn them into evangelists, which actually is a good reason to download our unexpected ways marketers can use Sales Hub. Logging your emails is the tip of the iceberg of cool ways anyone that's not in sales can utilize the powerful features of Sales Hub. You can check that out in the link below after this video. Now back to how to log emails. One of the best reasons people log them is so that sales reps and other team members will have record of not only the number of times that they've reached out to a person, but also what they've talked about. The sequences tool does a lot of the logging for you, which is great. But as someone graduates from sequences to individual conversations, that responsibility shifts. So there are three main ways that you can log an email. The HubSpot email extension, using the HubSpot BCC email address, or sending an email from within HubSpot. So let's start there. First, let's make sure that your personal read work email, not your Gmail or your 25-year-old HubSpot email, is connected to HubSpot. If you haven't already connected that email, stay tuned because we will run through those quick steps shortly. But a good way to check is to go to the gear to go into settings, general, and then the email tab. You should see your email address right there. So once you've confirmed that your email is connected, navigate to the contact that you want to reach out to. The good news is that if you are using sequences, all of those emails are already logged to the contact record. And if a contact replies to the email sent via sequence, those replies are logged to the contact record too. So you can use that historical record to pick up the conversation in these one-to-one -one emails. No matter what or how you've communicated with them already, click into their contact record like I just did, click the activities tab, and then click emails in the center column here. Now from this view, we're going to click this create email and you can enter your subject. Oops. And you're gonna be able to start typing your email here. HubSpot does have built-in protections that ensure you have the right permission set up um, to send emails. So if that person is not opted in to receive one-to-one -one emails, you're going to need to grant them this one-time legal basis. Click the button. Current customer is my reason. Hit save. Great. Now we're ready to type in our email. As an aside, this also works very similarly if you click into a company record or a deal. The steps are the same. You're going to click on any company or any deal that you want to email people from, then activities, and then create email. You'll see the associated contacts, addresses populate. Now all you have to do is hit send when you're ready to go, and the email will automatically log to that contact record along with their associated company, and then if you were to have sent it from that company record, we're going to go into activities and emails, and we're going to see here's that email that I just sent logged to that, con that company. And if there are any deals, we could go into deals and we could repeat this process through the deals tab. The center column is going to look pretty much the, the same. You're going to do it the exact same way. So replies from the contact or the contacts that you, if you've emailed them, you will work more than one person here if you've done it from the company record. They're going to log here as long as one, they're not on your never log list. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Two, your email remains connected when they reply. Three, they reply to you and not someone else. For example, they take your email out and type in a coworker. And then you've made sure to reconnect your email to HubSpot if you ever change your email password. That's a big one. 
A downside to this method, conversations won't be logged in your email client inbox. Upside, templates and snippets are at your disposal here. Pro tip, see this log email button? If you send an email from your own inbox and you forget to log it, all's not lost. You can copy what you sent or write a summary here. So I could type in, I sent an email on this date. Write out what I had sent or just copy that from my inbox, hit log activity, and everything is saved to that contact or company or deal record. Prefer to send your email from your email client? You can log your email from there, that's no problem. The method for this is the same whether you're a Google business-based email user, utilize Office 365 or Outlook, and it requires the use of the HubSpot plugin. To make sure that you have that, we're going to go to the settings, general, and email again. We're going to hover over your connected um, email address and we're going to click install extension. From here, depending on if you use Gmail, 365, or Outlook, you will download that version and you will follow the prompts from there. Once you have that integration installed, you're going to find the email that you want to log to your HubSpot CRM. Under the to information, you're going to click log email to HubSpot and then configure the logging, logging settings in the dropdown. If this recipient is already a contact, you'll see something that looks like this. You can check the boxes. If it's not an already, already a contact, you can click create contact and it will create one for you. Once you're ready, hit save. This approach also allows you to save the email to the company record, which is great if you're reaching out to multiple contacts at a company or working with an influencer there as you try to work your way up to reach the decision maker or on a deal record, which is a nice feature for sales reps. The most important note for this lesson is this, is this. If you learn nothing else from this video, this is the punchline. Do not turn on the automatically log emails feature unless you are absolutely sure you want to log everything. That feature is found up here under settings where you can automatically turn on logging and tracking. We have seen so many youth sports coaches, ex-spouses, teachers, all of the people that you innocently one-off email thinking, oh, it's okay this one time. Well, if you automatically log emails, they are now in your database and they are potentially receiving your marketing emails and you do not want that. Your best approach is to log emails one by one. It will keep the database clean, organized, and anything personal out of the shared areas of HubSpot. Staying in how to email through your email client, you can also choose to log emails with a quick copy and paste of a BCC address. Some people prefer saving this email address, which is unique to each portal, as a hotkey and entering it on emails that they want logged. So going back into your HubSpot account, we're going to click the settings icon again, and we are going to scroll down to objects and activities. We're gonna click here in this email logging tab, we are going to scroll down to find the BCC address. We are going to copy that. And then when you send a new email, you can just add this as a BCC. When you have your email ready to go, you can hit send. And just like with the last process, this will log the email to the contacts record or create a new one if the record doesn't exist. If you forget to log an email, just like what we have here with the BCC, don't worry, there's also a forwarding email address that you can copy. So you can take this email that you've already written, you can forward it to your forward BCC address and the email will copy to that contact record. And if you don't wanna use the BCC email address, that's fine. The easiest way to log your emails is to do it from the start. Enter your email address for the recipient and after you are done composing your email, just click log 
You can choose that you only want it to the contact or the company, just like we did when we were logging it after the fact. And your email hit send and it will automatically log to your email or your contact record. Um, one final thing to be aware of, if you have turned on GDPR privacy settings in your HubSpot account, you must have a legal basis to communicate with the email recipients. And then also, if you use that BCC email address in an email client without tracking, this will only log the email on a contact record in HubSpot. This will not allow you to track opens or clicks on the emails that you send. We've talked a lot about what to do to log an email to a contact record, a company, or a deal. The process is the same. Um, but what about a person that you never want to log an email to? If you work often with an outside vendor or IT support, et cetera, you might want to build a never log list. Now, you do have to be a super admin um, for this, so work with your manager or a HubSpot lead if you are not. But if you are a super admin, we're going to go to the settings section up here with the gear, scroll down to objects and activities. We're going to scroll down here to the never log section. Now we can add an individual email, such as sally at acme.com, or if we want to never log an email to anyone with the domain acme.com, we're going to hit an asterisk at acme.com and we're going to click save. Now anybody who tries to log an email to anyone with a domain of acme.com, it's not going to log to that contact record um, or the company record. If you change your mind in the future and you do want to be able to log emails to either the individual that you've added to this list or someone at one of these domains, simply hover over and hit remove. Now that you know how easy it is to log your emails, if you haven't connected your account, here are the quick steps. If you're in settings, or not, you can navigate there by going to the gear. We are going to go to general, click the email tab, and we're going to click connect your personal email. Click connect your inbox, and put your email address in the box, click next. Now from here, HubSpot is going to prompt you to connect to the provider, Gmail, Outlook, Office 365, so you'll, connect, you'll click the orange button and then follow the prompts for your specific provider to finish connecting your personal email. And now that you know how to log your emails and not bloat your database, and you've connected your inbox, here's a bonus tip for you. You can set your email signature in your HubSpot account. And your marketing team might have already asked you to do this to make the match um, and be a company standard, but if not, if you're still in the email section or if you need to go back to settings, general, and the email tab, do that. Then we're going to scroll down to edit email signature. Click on that. You can enter your email signature. From here, you can make things bold, you can add links. If you are feeling fancy and you wanna edit the HTML, click over here, you can edit your HTML in your signature. And after that, hit save, and now your email signature will match very sim what you send through HubSpot. If you go into those contact records, the company records, or the deals, very similar to what you have in your email client. Logging emails is one of the easiest HubSpot features to take advantage of. It benefits every department that touches HubSpot. And the biggest takeaway that we have for you is to not turn on the automatic logging. Want more bonus tips that you haven't thought of? We have a number of them in our unexpected ways marketers can use Sales Hub. This how-to guide will show you how to use deals within marketing projects, power, how to power up your use of tasks, and how to unlock enterprise level features. Click the link below to download your copy. And remember that if you enjoyed this video, check out our other HubSpot Helper videos and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Need custom recommendations for your HubSpot portal? Check out our HubSpot action plan today.